In this equation, we have CuI2, and it's decomposing. It's this copper 2 iodide. It's decomposing into copper 1 iodide plus this iodine gas here. So to balance the equation, we're going to count the atoms up on each side. We have one copper and two iodine atoms. Product side, we have the one copper. Then we have one plus two. So we have three iodine atoms. The challenge here is I have this odd number here and an even number here. So I'm going to try to get this to an even number here. That'll make it easier to balance. But I have iodine here and here. So that kind of complicates it. Why don't we put a 2 in front of the CuI? That way we would have 2 times the 1 copper. That would give us 2 of those. Let's update the iodine atoms here. We have the 1 iodine times 2. So 2 plus 2. That equals 4. Now if I put a 2 in front of the CuI2, I have 1 times 2. That balances the copper, 2 times 2. For the iodine, that balances the iodine. This equation's balanced. So the key here was trying to get this number here, which was originally 3, get that to an even number. Once you do that, things kind of just work out quite often. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuI2 decomposing into CuI plus I2. Thanks for watching.